on October 24, 2023. The world was introduced to the trailer for Under the Boardwalk, the all-new, generic-looking animated movie from Paramount Animation. And look, let's not beat around the bush. This movie looks like garbage, which makes complete sense, because Paramount couldn't make a good animated movie, even if you put a gun to their hands. I mean, since 2020, they've been responsible for awful movies like SpongeBob 3, Sponge on Social Security, Rumble, and Luck, which has to be one of the worst animated films ever made. Although, thankfully, Paramount was smart enough to sell it to Apple, even though they should have left that boring-ass piece of dog shit out of the room from the beginning. And it seems like Paramount made another terrible development decision with Under the Boardwalk, a movie about talking crabs that get lost at sea and have to find their way back home. But wait, this movie is different from all the other buddy road trip comedy cartoons because these are animals that could just fucking swim back home at any time. At least Finding Nemo had the excuse of being a wide fucking ocean. This movie literally takes place on a small part of the East Coast. And come to think of it, these crabs don't even have to swim. They could just find the nearest Democrat and tell them that they're in the country illegally. Then they would get a free bus ride to wherever the hell they want to. Did these people literally not read what they wrote? or were the dollar signs in their eyes blocking their view and forcing them to make terrible decisions like approving of this movie and that dog shit Ninja Turtles movie, two more fucking Spongebob movies, and an animated Transformers movie, which sounds like such a great idea after the last Woke Formers movie fucking bombed. But even though Paramount seems to be run by people that are dumb enough to approve of an outdated clump of monkey shit like Under the Boardwalk, could there be a chance that this movie won't be a complete of unwatchable shit. Well, hi, I'm the PNG Tuber, and today we're gonna answer the rhetorical question that I asked in the previous sentence. Okay, first off, ignoring the fact that the main character sounds like that narcissistic bastard from Scott Pilgrim vs. My Dwindling Patience, can we just talk about the fact that this animation looks like a steaming pile of shit that exploded in a microwave? Good gracious, I wouldn't even show this to a serial killer, let alone small children. It's like they found a new AI that can make a generic looking Pixar movie and this is when it shit out. And of course, you have the token black sidekick who's a fucking worm for no reason. You have a main character who's shy and needs to quote, get out of his shell, which is a joke that the writers think is infinitely funnier than it actually is. And then you have a racial separation between the different types of crabs. Like what the fuck kind of ultra woke, dipshit quality bullshit is this? And speaking of woke, this movie manages to simultaneously be cancerously woke and incredibly racist at the same time, which is pretty usual for Hollywood liberals. You have a black man character crab, which is already pretty woke, but then you have a scene with her mom saying, you must have lost your damn mind. What the hell kind of bullshit is that? These companies love to brag about how inclusive and diverse they are, then they turn around and literally make fun of the people that they're trying to pander to. Like, if I wanted to see racial stereotypes, then I would just go to a fucking minstrel show at the bar down the street. Not this bullshit ass AI general concoction, and I'm not even gonna mention the race war between the crabs that they show at the end of the trailer. Look, I could go on a long and angry rant about that, and I know that I've done that before, but this is just fucking stupid. This is bait for us true American patriots, and the worst thing that we could possibly do is give these demented fucks any more attention than they deserve. Because sure, this race war bullshit may be predictive programming, but Hollywood has been sneaking race war messaging into movies for years and it technically hasn't happened yet, if we ignore 2020. You see, the movie Real from 2011 had a similar plotline with birds versus monkeys, with the birds being you-know-what race and the monkeys being you know what race. But that didn't start a race war. And then you had strange magic with the war between the magical races and its own bullshit messages of diversity and inclusion. And that didn't start a race war. So under the boardwalk could try as hard as it damn well pleases. But we true Americans won't allow ourselves to be provoked by any simian-like and or dipshit Democrat demagogues. Because when it comes down to it, that's all that this movie is. A propaganda piece for the DNC. And Clearly, even the Democrats realized how shitty this movie was going to be, since it seems like they gave Paramount a budget of $5 and a ham sandwich to market this movie. Anyway, with that said, Under the Boardwalk has basically no chance of being anything more than a steaming pile of crab shit. I mean, usually I would say that that's kind of sad, but Paramount Animation is such an illegitimate animation company that the studio could burn down tomorrow, and I wouldn't even feel bad for them. 
But either way, I'm gonna appear in GTuber. Definitely not loading up Paramount Plus to watch Under the Boardwalk on October 27th and signing off. Bye.